Hey, welcome back to another tiny adventure. My name's Lagan. This is Small Land. I changed the base again. I'm n I am just never going to be satisfied until I get more building pieces, so I'm just going to stop messing with the base and wait till I unlock some more stuff. Hey, you know what we need to do to start today? So check out the base first. I got the little cauldron made, which is actually really cool because today we're going to try to tame a grasshopper and also a ladybug inside of the cauldron. We've got a grasshopper treat here that's going to allow us to tame it. It takes insect eggs, petal, and seed oil, and I have all of these things, so that's definitely what we're going to do today. Looks like everything in here will give you 50 nourishment, which is 20 more than anything on the campfire will give you. Plus, a lot of this stuff comes with some extra things, like the Fey Chowder will block nourishment loss for 360 seconds, plus it gives you cold protection. Now I'll make a bunch of the strawberry jam. Probably 10 is good to take with me. To make some seed oil for the grasshopper treat. So I have the seeds in my inventory and we'll just come over here to the stone cutter and make some of these. I'll just make a bunch because I'll probably need them later for refined wood. Now I should be able to make the grasshopper treat. So I will make two of these just in case for some reason I will make one of them because that's all the stuff I have. So I was going to say I'll make more than one just in case it takes more than one. I don't really know how this works, but we'll find out together. Pretty sure I can make something for the ladybug as well. Where was that? Yeah, right here. Pet whistle? Nope, that's not it, but this is it. Edible mushrooms, some nectar, and some fiber, and I have all of that. Free butler! I'm ready to go down to the bottom. Uh, is it nighttime? Yeah, it just turned nighttime. Okay, not good for me because we don't want to be out here at night, but this gives me a great opportunity to try out one of the new things we learned from the last video. Just got to pull out my hammer. Then we've got this new covered bed. So I should be able to sleep in it without building like a whole shelter roof over it. So let's find out. Oh yeah, that works perfect. So that's great. Now it's daytime. Here we go. Ooh, a moth. I haven't seen you around these parts before. I hate to do it, but I'm going to do it. Wait, more moths. Moths everywhere. Hold still. Hold still. There we go. Kill the moth. Sometimes that's what you got to do. What do you give up? Some insect eggs. Okay, some fur. That's good. Need that. And I guess we'll take the lymph, even though I haven't made anything with them yet. Now, I saw a grasshopper somewhere around here. Where? Oh, there he is. So it's my understanding the way to do this is to get it below 50% of its health. And then if you have what it takes to tame the creature, I don't know if it automatically does it or if I have to hit a button, but we're going to find out together right now. Hey, buddy, you want to be part of the family? I hope so, because it's happening. Maybe it's not. We'll see. Okay, that's below fit. Oh, eat a tame. That easy. Holy crap. This <laughs> is so easy. So we can mount it, we can release it, and we can tell it to stay. Uh, we're definitely going to mount it. I don't want to hit it. C will toggle all of these things, and then E will mount. Okay. Oh, we got a riding pet now. This is going to be awesome. How good's the jump? Oh, I like it. Now, we cannot attack while we're on it, but I, I think if I get off of it and I get attacked by something, it'll join in the fight. I think that's how it works. It's unfortunate as of right now, there's no, like, attack button when you're on the creature. Boy, these things are a little weird to control, that's for sure. So you don't control it with the mouse, you actually control it with the keys. So it doesn't move where you're looking. Uh, it only moves where you tell it with the with the keys, the A, S, W, and D. Now, I wanna heal you. How do I do that? I just put the grasshopper treats in my inventory in the eighth slot. I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit that and see if, it, nope, that didn't work. Maybe I put it on the ground? All right, left control drops the mushroom steak. And if I just kind of put your mouth up to it, you want to eat that? You going to eat that? You are going to eat it. Okay, so you just got to drop the food in front of it. Oh, look at it. It's got a cool animation. Oh, that's neat. Eat it. Get healthy. Get big. Good, you're strong. I'll take that mushroom steak. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, some ladybugs. Well, let's get a ladybug too and see what that does. All right, so again, we got to bop it until it's 50% or less of its health. We don't want to kill it. So let's be careful. These guys are fast, though. They'll get away from me pretty quickly. Maybe I can get it down to 50% of its health. Is it going to be a little trickier? Oh, I got it. Okay, now I got to tame it, though. I got to calm down. I should be able to walk up to it and tame. And tame. Nope. 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 Yeah, I'm completely unsure why it's not letting me tame this guy here. 
Ladybug? Well, it doesn't give me the prop to tame it, but I do have the Ladybug treat. Okay, oops. That one was not worthy. How about you? Okay, come here. So, it's not giving me the option to tame these guys. I don't understand. Have I given up trying to tame a ladybug? Maybe, for now, until I do some research, because I can't seem to tame one even though I have the treat. It's a shame they won't let us name these guys though, but we should probably give it a name anyways. I will name you Sherbert. Everyone say hello to Sherbert, the grasshopper, who doesn't have a Sherbert color at all about him. Although Sherbert is a nice treat and not really a color, but it's normally associated with some very bright, vibrant colors. Okay, I've explained this too much. Let's just get on the grasshopper. Today, I am looking for bark, and I'm looking for flint. Someone in the comments section said you can find them to the south, all the way down, or to the north, all the way up. By the way, I marked a picnic table I found on the map when I was out gathering resources, and up here I have found, like, unlimited nectar and garlic. This is where you find all the nectar and garlic. It is everywhere, plus seeds. So if you're looking for those things, that's where you find it. So I, I guess we'll head south and go to this beachy area and try to find bark and some flint. All while trying not to kill Sherbert, the grasshopper. Does he take fall damage? No, he doesn't. And can we jump over rivers now? Because that would be super helpful. Oh, he does have stamina though. That sucks. Now, idiot bugs. Oh, he took a good chunk of damage from those grasshopper or from those uh, ants. Hey, it's, look, it's another grasshopper. It's these guys right here. They're the ones that did this to you. Oh, don't make the other grasshopper mad. Yeah, go get those ants. Yeah, get them, Sherbert. Destroy them. I can't see anything that's going on. I can only hope you're winning. Get them. Nice hit. Do it again. There you go. Good job. And that'll teach them a lesson. You gonna eat them? All right, that's cool, actually. You'll heal yourself. I like that. You just eat them when you kill them. That's pretty gross and awesome at the same time. Here, look. Here's some more stuff up here you can eat from the other one you killed. Eat it. Eat it. Heal yourself. And hopefully that wasp stays away. It would definitely kill Sherbert. Uh, Sherbert, where are you going? Here I am. Let's go. To the south. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sherbert. No, no Sherbert. Oh, God. That, uh, that did not go well. We had Sherbert all of three minutes. That sucks. Tree Butler, I need you. Come on up. Here he comes. He's coming. Don't be silly, of course I didn't die. I just, I climbed back up to the top of the tree because I wanted the exercise, and now I'm tired and I want you to take me to the bottom. I didn't die. Relax, Tree Butler. Just do your job, quit asking questions. Thanks. Now begins the task of finding my stuff without getting killed by a bunch of insects. Here comes some right now. Great. Got one. Just heard the most peculiar noise coming out of this log here. I'm not going to go in there and find out what that noise is because I want to get back to my bag. I have a feeling whatever is in there will probably kill me, seeing how I'm about half health right now. Until I get to my bag, I have no heals on me. But yeah. There's definitely, oh, it's a spider, I see you. Oh, that's what's making that noise. A little tiny spider. Oh, we'll save him for another time. Okay, Sherbert number two. Guess you'll do. Don't kill me. Don't you dare kill me. Tame, tame, you've been tamed. You have been tamed, Sherbert number two. You hungry? Easy come, easy go, I always say. Here, eat this, Sherbert. Just like that, it's like nothing ever happened at all. Same old Sherbert, same old lagging, no deaths. Gotta watch where you're jumping in this game. I just jumped off this cliff, that's how I died. That was stupid. There's a beetle up ahead and I don't like our chances here, so we're just gonna boing right over him. And I'm gonna try to cross this log safely with the grasshopper that's really hard to control. Although if you just tap the keys, it works pretty good. I think the uh, beetle's coming with us. Don't like that very much. Hey, Beetle. Can you do this? Don't think you can. I'm out of here. Don't worry, Grasshopper. It's just a storm. I don't think it's a bad one. 
We don't need to build a shelter. Let's just keep moving. We're really gonna test out that no fall damage thing right now. No fall damage? No fall damage. Which makes perfect sense. I mean, it is a grasshopper after all. They are used to bouncing like this. There are beetles everywhere over here. This is beetle country. No doubt. Oh no. Did I do it again? Get to the edge. Ah, perfect. I knew that's what was gonna happen. I totally knew that's what was gonna happen. All right, we're down here now. I should stop blindly jumping. <laughs> that is definitely a bad idea. Ah, I think we've entered a new biome. I guess we'll call this the Swamplands, but there is a ton of plants here. They kind of look like rye, but I don't think are rye. Let's see if we can harvest them. What are you? Nothing I can harvest, I don't think. Take out the ax anyways, give it a try. Nah, that's nothing. Um, is this water too deep to go through? It looks kind of shallow, you know. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. That looks a little too deep over there, though. I'm right, we'll stick to the uh, light-colored water. You go really slow in it, though. May have to keep you right here. Why don't you stay? I'll be back for you, okay? Oh, that's a big old toad over there. He's gonna eat me. I'm gonna lay down a bed. This seems like stupid to go over there and investigate with a giant toad. Okay, we'll lay down a bed in case I die. All right, there's our bed. Here goes nothing. Let's find out what happens. All right, good. You can jump on lily pads. That's good to know. Ooh, there's a dragonfly. Hey, dragonfly. I sure would like your wings, probably, for something. Oh, oh. Comes the frog again. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. There's no way you're friendly, right? There's just no way. I need to get past him, though. I see you looking at me. I see you looking at me. Why don't you go find something else to do so I can get by? Yeah, go that way, then I'll go this way. All right, we gotta be quick. We gotta be quick. Oh, God. Oh, God. It sounds like he's coming to get me. Oh, I've made a grave mistake. There's definitely a frog behind me. Oh, God. Come on. It's weak to pierce damage. I only have, like, five arrows, though, so I'm gonna let him go because he is not bothering me anymore. I'm guessing those white flowers out there are probably something I can harvest. They seem to definitely stick out. In case you're wondering, it does show you where your uh, mount is, so you won't lose it. It's on the map. So far, I don't see any bark. I don't see any flint. I see a lot of grasshoppers down here and one giant ornery toad. So far, that's all I see down here. But we'll keep looking around. You never know. All right, Mr. Dragonfly. Let's figure out what you're good for. Um, oh, you coming for me? Okay, all right. Damsel fly. Ow! You pay for that. That's what you'll do. You don't. Try again. Got him. Anything useful? Oh, yeah, insect wings. Okay. That's gonna be helpful. Make something cool out of that at some point. Eventually, maybe. I wonder if that frog, that toad, is a uh, boss. There are five bosses in the game, I believe. Oh, the cattails are harvestable. Okay. It's the cattails. Let's see what we get from these guys. Where'd that toad go? Yeah, he's still out there. Hey, toad. I don't guess those white plants are anything. So it's just the cattails. I'm gonna try to get some as soon as this toad goes away. Oh, you need a flint hatchet to get them. Ah, dang it. Don't have any flint yet. You know, you would think bark is probably by some trees and this I've overshot. I should probably go back towards the wooded area a little bit. What on earth is over there? That looks like a whole structure. Oh, yeah, it's like some sort of castle or something. I don't know. It's pretty neat. Go see if I can find Sherbert. He should be around here somewhere. And it's about to be nighttime again. So we will go to sleep. Turn it back to day. Right, there's Sherbert. Oh, your eyes glow at night, Sherbert. Love it. You're really cool. I'm gonna make a workbench really quick. Just plop it down somewhere. There we go. Get my repair on for whatever I can repair. Gonna have to make a new torch, it looks like. Oh, it actually let me repair it. It just wasn't free. It cost whatever it cost. Okay, good. And then maybe I can make some arrows too. 11 wood arrows. Just in case you're running into any more dragonflies or moths or any kind of flying creature or anything that takes pierce damage. At least we'll have some more arrows now. To the forest, Sherbert. Stop along the way if you see something that looks like flint or bark. That's what we're looking for. Find it for me. Use your grasshopper nose and find it. But if we can't find either one of those things, I'll tell you what we are gonna find is that spider. And maybe we can, oh, you climb walls. 
That is cool. Oh, that's gonna be helpful. Of course, grasshoppers can climb walls. Ooh, now that looks different. What are you? That doesn't look like one of the normal beetles, does it? That's a green beetle. Blood damage. Don't want to kill Sherbert number two. Is this flint by any chance? You look like stone. That's just stone. Okay. Keep moving. Come on, Sherbert. Ooh, what is that thing down there? No. A lizard. Probably want to stay away with it with Sherbert. There's definitely like a gecko or something down here. He'll probably try to eat Sherbert, but I want to get a closer look. Too close. Too close. I almost went into the water. There's a green beetle right there, too. Those things are huge. Bottle caps down here. For now, we will stay away from that lizard. But if it's tameable, I'm getting one. Because that looks really cool. I see you down there. Ooh, now I see some stuff down here I haven't seen before. Next to that hornet. And I want to check it out. If that hornet gives me any problems... Oh my god, what happened to you? <laughs> a butterfly just came out of the sky and died. That's crazy. But yeah, what is this stuff? This has definitely got to be flint and bark, right? Flint? And are you bark? Bark! Oh, I found it! Okay, the south beach is lined with this stuff. Just got to keep an eye on that stupid hornet. And make sure that gecko doesn't come around here. Please tell me I can harvest you. Yes, I can. All right, we're getting flint. We're getting. We're going to get some uh, bark as well. The bark says that it needs a flint pickaxe. So we've got the flint now. We just got to go make a new pickaxe and then we can get some bark. Well, where the heck did Sherbert run off to? Sherbert! You coward. Get back here. Oh, God. Sherbert! Oh, God. Blunt damage. You, you expect me to go up and just bash this thing with my wooden club? I'm not even doing that. No. So Sherbert ran off and he got scared by a wasp that stung him. I think he's all the way up there and I'm all the way down here. There's a big giant green beetle there. Gecko over there. Sherbert the cowardly grasshopper. Oh, where did you go? This stuff is called foxtail. Maybe we can harvest it. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's see what we get from foxtail. Some flint, and it looks like maybe a seed. Yeah, a couple seeds. So this is just as good as the rye we've been finding. Just the beach version of rye. Well, I've somehow got to get up top and find Sherbert now. I am not very thrilled with him running off like that. Don't you look the other way so I can run past you. Just turn around. There you go, and here I go. Nothing to see here, Beetle. Nothing to see here. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Yep, he's doing it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's so big. He is so much bigger than those Sawyer beetles. Okay, good. All right, he chilled. He's chill. No. There's another one. Now I've got no place to hide. We just got to get past him quick before he sees me. You don't see me. You don't see nothing. Man, there's a swarm of freaking... Oh, those are wasp. Crap. Great spot to run off to, Sherbert. You're gonna get me killed. I hope you know that. We've got this. We've got this. Give him a nice wide berth. Nothing to see here. What is this? What is this? I don't know what that is. Is that an old microphone? What are you? Got some screws here? No, 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 no. My curiosity's gonna get me killed. Don't you knock it off. I'm having a I'm having a bad day. I know you think you want it, but you don't want it. You're not equipped to handle it. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, no. The second I saw all those wasps, I should have laid down to bed. It's my own fault. Tree Bottler, get up here. I'm on my way back to go get Sherbert. This is all his fault, by the way. Uh, and I just found another great tree here, and I want to test something out while we're right here. Because if I can make my spawn point closer to this shore that we're getting all this new stuff from, that'll be really helpful. So maybe it's moving day. So if I talk to this gnome, he's going to tell me I need to climb to the top, I'm sure. I want to claim this tree and move my tree encampment. Oh, it's done. Okay. So then, do we have a balloon guy here? Yeah, he said the lift is on his way. Okay, so let's see if my house is up here exactly the way I have it set up at the other tree which should no longer be at the other tree at all. 
which is way over there, straight in front of me. By golly, I think we just successfully moved our entire house. That is a really, really cool feature. Most games, you'd have to create outposts all over the map. Uh, based on, you know, finding new biomes, new resources, you'd want some sort of outpost in each new area you go to, but if there's these great trees located all over the map, then this replaces that. This is a great feature, it really is. And there's my house, exactly as it should be. Very cool. I mean, the house isn't very cool, but <laughs> it, it being here is very cool. All right, hopefully my bag full of stuff is still gonna be there. I don't know how long it stays, but I clearly can't get it right now. As you can see, I cannot. Are you kidding me? I just woke up. It's morning time, but now it says a storm approaches. Seek shelter, so I can't go out and get my stuff. This is my bedroom. It's not much. Just some leaves on the floor that I like to sleep in and some stairs. But eventually, I'm gonna be able to build exactly what I envision. Eventually. Just not today. Ah, there we go. All right, let's go get my stuff. Storm's over. All right, I know Sherbert is down over the edge here. Just got to figure out how to get down to him. Also, that looks ominous. It's definitely a spider's layer. In fact, I see the spider leg. Oh my, it's a big spider too. Way back there. Can you see it? I don't want to go too far, but yeah, you see it. <laughs> no, thanks. No, thank you. Not right now. I've got too many problems. Hey, you haven't seen another grasshopper around here, are you? Goes by the name of Sherbert. He's green. He likes to hop, climb. You may have seen him running from uh, a wasp or basically anything because he's... Okay, you're rude. I think I found a pathway down right beyond this Sawyer beetle here. So, we'll wait for the right moment. And we'll sneak past the Sawyer beetle. That's the plan. And he's looking the other way. Let's go. Let's go. Doing it. Now, what if, uh, Sherbert is in a place I can't reach him? I don't have a way to call him. Although I do believe there is a, whis a pet whistle on the workbench. I should make that. Where is he? See, I don't see him anywhere. Over here somewhere, though. Ow. Ooh, that's different. That's not like the other... Dragonfly I saw. What are you called? Oh, that's an actual dragonfly. The other thing I found was called something else. Hey! Get down here! You're a huge disappointment to me! Why won't you get... I can't mount you when you're like... Oh, no! Yeah, yeah, run. Run and hide somewhere else where I can get you. There you go. No, no. Get off the wall. Oh. Angering me. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on. There's a Sawyer Beetle ahead of us, but that's no big deal. We can definitely jump over him, like so. Oh god, there's another one. It's always something. God, I've accidentally hopped into the uh, spider den here. We're gonna keep moving. Thanks, but no thanks. That Sawyer Beetle knows what's up. He left. He's like, uh -uh, I'm not going in there. No! Leave him alone! Sherbert, don't go too far this time. I'll handle the beetle. All right, I got him. You want to eat his guts? You can have his guts. Come here. You thought about jumping, didn't you? I'm glad you didn't, because I was not going to go down there and get you again. Wasn't going to do it. Here, eat all of his guts. You'll enjoy that. Why are you being so stubborn? Eat the food. There's insect fat, and there's a beetle heart. You don't like beetle hearts or insect fat? Okay. You don't want the ant skewers either. Okay, well, I hope you live long enough to get my stuff anyways. All right, that's another one of those beetles that keep messing you up. Let's uh, try not to get him angry. Doing good, doing good. Get going. All right, Sherbert. You're staying out of trouble this time. Yeah, that's where I died at, right next to that radio. There was a hornet. I fell off the edge. There's my stuff. We found it, Sherbert. We found it. Should have some insect eggs in here. I know you like those. All right, look, there's a mushroom steak right there and some bug lymphs. You better stop being so picky and eat something. Oh, God. He's back. 
No time to eat. We gotta go. Oh, they're all here. They're all here. I'm gonna get you back to the tree. I hope. I need you to regain some stamina. Go, 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 go. There you go. We're out of trouble. We're out of trouble. That's fine. You wanna see our new home? We moved. Let's go to our new house. See that balloon over there? That's Mr. Tree Butler. He'll take us up and down. I don't know if he's gonna let you ride on there or not. You might have to climb up to the top. Let's find out. Tree Butler, I've got a friend. Take us to the top. I'm sinking through the balloon floor. This is not going well. We're gonna die. Oh, Sherbert, hold on. Oh, Sherbert, please. You have been a pain in my ass all day. Oh, we made it, Sherbert. Okay. Well, you know what? The elevator's not for grasshoppers. We know that now. Maybe you'll just teleport up here to me. All right, you stay out in the yard. Uh, I'm going inside. And I'm gonna do something with all this flint I got. I need to make this flint pickaxe in order to get the uh, bark that we found out on the beach. And I've got everything we need. Fiber, resin, and flint. I just gotta make some refined wood and I've got plenty of seed oil so I can do that. I definitely wanna make the, uh, the pickaxe. So let's make that. I also have just enough flint to go ahead and make the flint hatchet, so I'll do that as well. There's a new flint pickaxe, shiny, metal-y. I like it. Definitely can get some better stuff now. Our flint axe. Not bad. Not a bad day at all. Isn't that right, Sherbert? And as night falls, I guess this is a perfect time to end the video. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on it. As always, it's been your boy Lagging24. And I will see you... Uh, next time.